started, man. Everybody be asking me all the time, how in the fuck I get my music sounding so crispy, clear, no way in it, nothing, just sound, you know, clear than the motherfucker. Well, this today, I'm going to show you, you know what I'm saying? I don't use none of that shit that they use in a big studio and all that shit. I don't need that shit. Like, seriously, you don't even need that shit. That shit just for show, man. I'm going to show y'all what all you need to do. They teach you this shit in class, in school, you know what I'm saying, for engineering and shit. And then you don't got to take no class. You don't got to do none of that shit, none of that shit, man. Once you get the hang of it, understand what the fuck going on, you know what I mean, then you got it, bro, you know what I'm saying? But everybody like that music different. But let's get to this shit. First of all, you know what I'm saying, I got me a mic, <clears throat> mic stand, you know what I'm saying? It don't cost that much for a studio, bro. Nowadays, niggas act like it's a million dollars, bro, no. Got me a good little mic, you know what I'm saying? Spit catcher, you know what I'm saying? A mic stand where I can pull it up or down, you know what I'm saying? If I want to, I could turn this up, you know what I'm saying? If I wanted to, I tighten it up. Nice size monitor. Only, only thing I don't got right now is my speakers. I got them in the... Uh, at you know, my people house right now, so you know what I'm saying, my old studio. But I'm, I'm gonna get them back. You know what I'm saying, they too big to put right here, anyways. I have to buy some little ones. But then I got my mixer down here on my laptop, my my brain. All right. First of all, you don't even need that shit. This is Adobe Edition. Let me show y'all boys. Nigga, think I don't know what the fuck I be doing. I got Pro Tools right there, bro. Pro Tools. Pro Tools SE. It's good Pro Tools, bro. Got FL9, Audacity, Adobe. I mean, everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? FL10. Nigga, I mean, I can keep going. You know what I'm saying? To Acid Pro and all that little bullshit. Cool Edit Pro, all that little bullshit on there. You know what I'm saying? But I work on Adobe. Because this, you know what I'm saying? Adobe Edition 3.0. Go and get it. It don't even cost that much. Probably like $400 or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For the whole little setup, bro. That ain't even nothing, man. Y'all niggas talking about y'all got money and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you want to rap. But you calling me to rap, nigga. My studio, bro. It don't cost that much, dude. Anyway, this is dry vocals, you know what I'm saying? Period. Like, this is horrible. This is just dry. Let's go into this vocal. This is how we're going to do this. First of all, what you want to do is... See that air right there? That's, that's number there. If I play that, that'll be air. That's the background noise. What you want to do is take that background noise up. I lit that, I lit that up. I'm going to go to reduction. I don't even got to use this. I can use this by waves, but everybody have this on their program. Some type of noise reduction. Or it's not a real studio. Uh, noise reduction. Clicks on noise reduction. What well, first I'm going to do is capture the noise. This is all the noise that was up in there, right there. Then I'm going to select the whole track. So I, the whole track lit up. Now I'm going to take that noise, this sh out of the whole track. That's the first thing you do. That's the first thing you gated. Like, like, like a gated community, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to keep a good, you know, surrounding, you know. No, we we'll fuck with y'all. But next thing you want to do, you can do what you want to at, at this time, but you always want to equalize first and this is how I EQ I use waves wave dot rig waves go and get it bro it don't cost that much probably about like some hundred dollars bro you know what I'm saying me not even seven bro probably like six hundred dollars for the box got all these waves in here bro you can make your music sound however you want it you know what I'm saying the yesers all that shit but anyway what you want to do you want to EQ it First, so you want to go to REQ. REQ. You want to four band it. A lot of people three band. I don't three band. I like the four band. I like high sound. I can, you know what I mean? 
You don't got to put that much reverb into it. Now, now, what you want to do, you want to, I like to EQ not too much, but enough. You know what I mean? So, second thing I want to do is VE, I mean, yeah, VEQ3 mono. Because it's a mono track. It's mono meaning just once, it's not double. <clears throat> and for mono, I'm going to go to lead vocal. In the presence up here, presence, find lead vocal. Lead vocal. Boom. This is using waves. So, every, how I mix and master, where I mix down, you're basically using waves. You want some type of bass in your voice. You don't want, you know, it sound like you in some, you was rapping on some karaoke. Shit like that. See, I go to dot direct waves. You always see how we go to down to waves. All right, this is my wave bundle. Go up to max bass. Max bass. Just want to go to on the presets is medium on any, you know, what you call it, like to, to keep it. Fuck all that. Just do what the fuck I'm doing. That's that's what they do, man. I'm telling you. So these producers does all day. Don't listen to nobody what they tell you. They might tell you some other shit. Uh, homie don't know what he's talking about. At the same time, they know the fucking truth. They just don't want to make you come successful. Listen to my music, bro, and you'll see. Now, right right now, what you want to do is where I was. I, I just lost track here. Uh, I was Max Bass. Now you want a dynamic and process. You want to compress it right now. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, no, we're not compress. You want to, you want a dynamic process it. You know, you want to, you want to, well, let me show you what I went to. Effects. Dynamic processing. Amplify and compression. Dynamic processing. Boom. You want to go to Pander and the presets up there. Graphics. Then you go to the right here. Make it curve. The little spline curves. And this what this is gonna do to the to the wave. It's gonna make it little one. So don't worry about that. That's this that's good. Still have your clipping in it, your little clips. That's good. Now, uh, what you want to do is compress it now. You want to compress. That's, now, you always equalize, then compress. A lot of people compress it and equalize. I don't know what the fuck they be doing, but this is a wave, I mean, a, a VST that I got, I bought offline. Uh, go and get it. Is 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 uh like now they say it's free. I believe. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. But VST to classic compressor. That's what's called classic compressor. Go to VST classic compressor. It's, it's, it's a bad motherfucker. And what you want to do is go to hard compressor. You want to hard compress that. Want you know all the shit you just did to it. Now, reverb. This is damn. Yeah. Edit, edit, go back to edit. All right. You want a little reverb in it, a little studio re reverb, studio reverb. All right. I got my own setting. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I use. I ain't even gonna let you listen to it. But this is what I use. Uh, Studio Reverb. Alright, uh, right now, you want to, uh, to make it, you, you really finished, but this is some extra that I does, just to give it more of a, you know, to put the, that vocal inside of that inside of that beat or whatever tweak it up a little bit or whatever what I do uh, is I go to uh, delay
play and echo. Then I go down if I die. Yeah, dynamic delay process. I keep it on hollow space. Now you can go and mess with the little settings in the inside of it right here, but that's not going to do you no good. Uh, unless you know what you're doing, but if not, just leave it how it is. Click OK. Hollow space. Now, hollow space is going to make it, if you just put hollow space on your vocals, it's just going to sound like you in a big ass room. If you, without all that little mixing I just did, the whole little mix, that is going to, it's going to fuck up everything. If you do anything backwards I just did, it's going to fuck it all up. See how it changed up? What you call it on? Now, that's how you want your, what you call it, look, your vocals to look. Last thing, last thing is normalize. You can stop, you can rewind this video, <clears throat> do whatever you want to do to it, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and study it so you know what to do. Normalize, everybody put theirs at like 70, 75, but I put mine at 65. I don't want to normalize it too much, you know what I mean? I don't want to normalize it well. You can't even really tell that I did anything to it. I wanted you to tell that, you know. I done something, you know. I mixed it down. So I put mine on 65, normalize. Boom, and you see. There we go. Got a good vocal. Now. Sound very good, very good, very good. I don't got my speaker, that was my earphone. <laughs> but it, it, see how it just pierced right through the vocal that quick? That's what you want, that's what you need. You know what I'm saying? That's what the people be looking for. It's how to get their vocals to pierce through the beat or to cut through the beat because it sounds like shit. I'm hearing people music on Reverb, on SoundCloud, where their voice sound like they way over here. Hey, say, dude, hey, help me out. Hey, say, I'm over here. And you're supposed to be like right up here. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this is what it is, basically. But it's another rule, money bags, tutorial, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up on YouTube. If you don't got me on YouTube, then you fuck. Anyways, you know what I mean? Find my YouTube, bro, and I'm going to teach you how to do some mastering. You know what I'm saying? Using Isotope, Ozone Layer. Fuck. Fuck with me.